What a beautiful morning. Eventually we'll do something more with this property. It widens out. We want to put a pad in here for off-grid RV and put it on maybe Airbnb. Directly on the ocean. Be kind of neat. Saw a deer here this morning. Actually we had some rabbits this morning. And we seen seals this morning. So. So eventually, someday. Do something with this lot, get it filled in, and but for now, we just enjoy the view. John, the marker's right here. Yeah, no, it starts at that big rock. That's fine, still get a view for us. Amazing time of year because the bugs aren't bad. Eventually, a little boathouse or something. A wharf, but it has to be a wharf. I don't know what they're called, but for the tides, the water can get pretty rough here. As you can see, all this rock right here was brought in by the last storm. This used to be all this brush. And this rock is not up here. It actually went across the street as well. front property to go with it. So if you're looking for a place in Nova Scotia on the ocean, in the South Shore, down towards Liverpool, I mean the dream would be that this would be all sand, but <laughs>
all day. <laughs> so peaceful. So peaceful. And then on this side, the property line, I believe, that's right, oh yeah, right here. So, you see how much of a diagonal it goes? Right here. So it goes on a diagonal like that. You can... See, all this was brought up by that storm. So it shows you. And this was the pathway that we threw in right quick. Started to put rocks, lugging them up from the beach just to get to our property. But now on the other side, it's cleared out, thanks to Mother Nature. But right about here is where I figure we would like to have a boathouse. Oh my goodness. Couldn't you just look at that all day long? We have an RV pad, non-Airbnb rented out right here. For people to park their van or off-grid. side driveway and then he's clearing back there is where we want to have the gardens and start going and this property goes there's the rock ledge I was saying eventually I'd like to put a little something up there And then this. And as you can see, there's the property line right there behind that rock, the orange tag. And then this is our neighbor's driveway that he just put in. I'd like to get up onto eventually put something and as you can see the tags all the way up he rode the property line all the way up but then he will go this way for his property actually I think he's putting four properties in here as well to uh, subdivide his lots so again if you're looking for a lot Nova Scotia That'd be a nice view up there too. I don't get up there yet. I don't have something on other than flip flops. A big old whatever it is. <laughs> Tractor, excavator. Oh, he must have dropped that in the woods. And then our property on this side. Okay, he dropped it in the woods. So there we are. And I see a stake there. 
Oh no, right here. So, our property line is right here. Lot 204 that way. But you can see how far extra actual amount of space here. It's about in less than an acre, but just under. So, so again, we'll put a nice pad in there. With an ocean view. And probably could put a two in there. And then down here, we would have ours, our little boathouse, by our path. Because that's where we want to be, across from our driveway. Nova Scotia Power is coming to clear all of that, our trees out by the lines there. But seems to be a lot of people starting to do some things on their land down here, so even though we got 14 acres, I guess we're going to have neighbors. Which I don't mind. All right. My goodness, what a beautiful day. Mm -mm -mm. soon.